Hello and welcome! My name is Ahura and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Nocellis 4 where we are playing as Muscovy. No, we are not. We are playing as Ottomans and we are at war with Muscovy. Anyways, we are winning this war, but it's it's costly. Um, of course, it would be against Muscovy. I had hoped to deal with him earlier, but... The fact that we can't see where his armies are, g making it quite hard to to defend against it. And I did spread out too much at the start of the war, which I shouldn't have done, but I thought I had enough of an advantage. He ended up increasing his army size a lot, and that kind of ended up being a problem. We are actually losing war score right now, uh, because we don't have the war goal, which is Murum. So maybe we should actually... No, I'm gonna go for perm. I'm gonna go for perm, and we can then gain, like, 11 war score instantly by taking Morum. Because it would be nice to just start seizing it down and getting that taking war score. But I'd rather get Perm out of the war, get some soldiers out of the war, and I can see we have a bunch of power that we need to use. Ooh, and I can't do this on Lithuania anymore, because they are actually not part of the same country anymore. And fabricate the last few claims on Persia, get that guy home. So the idea if is if I can get a Permian capital, I can get them out of the war. I don't know how much they actually have. Let's check it out. Perm have... 8,000, so it's not that much, but at least I'll get someone out of the war. Um, Riasan, but you're part of personal union, so I can't get you out. Then there's Pascal, but it's all the way over here. Let's send someone to e Elam. Could become Defender of the Faith, but it won't really give us that much. The morale isn't really what we're needing. And even though this is only a 14 stack, we're still suffering attrition because of goddamn Russian winter. And they're trying to siege back this fortress, and they attack me here without me seeing because of the goddamn fog of war. Let's hope this is enough to defend this. It does seem to be so. So, we killed... That's... 9, 12,000 to, to four and a half, so that's pretty, pretty awesome. Still... Costly. So how is the manpower situation looking now? Have we gotten rid of all of his manpower yet? Yes, now he's also boned on manpower and we definitely have the bigger army. Uh, and bigger army all in all for the engagement as well. Plus we will probably have a bigger manpower game than he does. I don't know if you can see that anywhere actually. Um, no. Interesting to see if we can actually see how much manpower he gains each month. I don't think we can. Probably be too much information to know about your enemies. Doesn't seem like it. And we can get some technology. What is that? That's admin ahead of time again. Um, I don't want to be doing that, of course. I would rather spend that money on coring. And now Lithuania and Sweden has taken advantage and are now attacking Muscovy. Hopefully, hopefully that will help, but they 
unfortunately that his armies are away from from them so well, I don't know I think he'll be be focusing on me it seems like the AI will always try to focus on the player if it can I would like to deal with that army but I wouldn't like to attack into that huge stack so let's see Shift consolidate, attack into there. Well, that'll reinforce right away. So at least we tricked him into walking in there with all of his troops. Yeah. I think we do need to deal with those troops before we can actually actually win this. At least he's gathered all his troops. Hopefully he'll go and deal with them. That would be awesome. Minma Sinan Great Constructions. Mima Sinan planned and oversaw the construction of countless mosques, ad aqueducts, bathhouses, bridges, palaces, car caravanseries, and schools during his half a century long career. His masterpiece were Silimia and S S Suleimania mosques in Andalusia and Constantinople respectively. So we can appoint him royal architect and get cheaper build and development cost, or we can enlist him for some points. Definitely this. We don't really need those points right now. We can not pay our loan back yet. So no building, but we could do some development I guess to get rid of some of those admin points. Might as well. Do it a little bit of time though, just to save. Right now he's losing a bunch of uh, manpower on that. Okay, so that's just student force right away. And let's see if we can knock Perm out of this wall right away. Can we take some money? Yes, we can. Can we take some war reps? Yes, we can. So we at least got them out of the war. Let's just do a... we already did shift consolidate. Do it here as well. Too late. But they cancelled the attack. And they're still suffering attrition so I'm not really mad about that. I think I will go and start to siege back near Novgorod then. Concentrate all my forces around here, take him there and... Ooh. I don't know if he can... He's exiled right that what his black flag means. And I need to get him to one of my provinces to uh, get that gone, but I don't know if it counts if I just get him to... Oh, it did count. So control of an enemy province is as good. And hopefully he will now go and fight Poland and Lithuania instead of me. I do have Moskva, so as long as I have Moskva, that's what I really want. I can live without this province, although of course I would prefer to get it, but I can live without that province as long as I get Moskva, because Moskva is what you would need for that, um, that achievement. Uh, I'm not... Obviously, I already have that achievement, so I, I can't really get it again, but uh, principally, principally, I want to show how you do it. Down here, what do we want to use those? Can't break royal ties. Um, have a fruit with those, truce with them. I can attack Shirvan. I can get some claims here. I'll just keep the last guy around, I think. How long till this truce ends? 
think I'll start building up a spy network in Hungary to help with that war. Might as well take some provinces around. And I think he is engaging them somewhere because he's down to almost no troops now and low war enthusiasm. And he did engage and win, win actually. And by now I can actually afford to spit out a little bit more because he does have a lot or has has he doesn't have that huge army anymore. And here we're actually restricted by that fort there. And there was a fort there that I didn't know about, so let's just start seating that down. And we got Nice Novgrod. Let's And we took Moron. So at this point I'm gonna take this guy home so we can do peace deals whenever. Because getting really close. Secrets in our alliance. Basically this, we just had this video go. So let's just give them some more spy network chains, I don't really care. We lose one of our generals? No. We are just not using him. And he has his army here, so we know. Um, should probably attack that. Get them all down here. Like this. Because if we attack this way, then there's no river crossing. And we're getting close to f full manpower. Repay loan if you can. And it was our last loan, finally. Up to 18 in income now. That's a lot. Of course, we are getting some of his income from taking all of these. And. So, what do we want to take? We want to take as much of this. Oh, that's actually already a hundred. Probably want to take more rum. So we could take this, and that would be a hundred, a hundred piece teal. We get ninety six percent overextension, cost a two hundred and forty eight to core it, and Musk would get mad, but nobody else really. Oh, Audi will they all that one would get bad, but I don't care about that. What is it anyway? Is it just. Oh, they have an alliance with Novgorod or are uh, in there. Do I have too much war exhaustion? Oh, it's because I have no wallet reason, so I would get minus two stability and two war exhaustion for attacking him. Okay, I understand now. So I'm thinking once we get those two fortresses, we'll probably have enough to to do that peace deal. Uh, should we go take care of that? Might as well let him sit there. I 
think we'll siege faster than him. Can always go and do it if he gets to positive. Let's just send some cab or uh, some artillery. So we actually only need ten artillery. So let's send two of them back. And you should fall. Yes. Another infidel, a low ranking official in our government, and has distinguished himself and proven to be a very able administrator. He may be deserving of a promotion, but there is one problem he is not a Muslim. All attempts to force his conversion have been met with failure, and there are many who demand his immediate dismissal, so we can gain piety but lose dismissal, so we find out we can lose piety. Oh. I'll lose piety. Ooh, we can take the deal now. Let's do that. Let's not lose any more time or soldiers on this. So... Let's just do those cores. Um, I think I'll just deal with the rebels. So basically, two cannons belong there, four cannons belong there. These guys... I will march... down here... to deal with that. The rest I will keep around up here to deal with rebels. Go back to speed four. So many rebels! So the next rebels will be no guy. So that's Utva, Yalg and Lower Yik. So let's send them down there. And we're of course getting some corruption again, but uh, we have some money, so let's pay for some of it. So we don't get too much corruption. Of course, as I was talking about in an earlier episode, there's no real reason for uh, for paying for all of it, since I have bonuses that last me through this, like positive stability and ahead of time in a ministry attack, and they are both bigger than the uh, penalty I get from religious unity. Uh, and that OX extension thing will go away in like two years, so paying for all of that O extension, like I will end up paying 31 or for 43 to root out all of it, and there's just no reason for that. I might as well, 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 well I can't speak, I might as well pay out some of it uh, as to get through the corruption quicker. But there's no reason to pay this much. I'll, I think I'm gonna pay about 5, like this. This way I'll get 29, and it'll take me a couple years to get rid of. Maybe I'll go a little bit higher, just so I won't be forced to stay out of war for a while. I cannot build stuff cheap. Any must that makes sense. Point 0.13. Any production that makes sense. Also, point 0.13... There's a point 0.16 down here. Do that. By the way, we already really developed our gold mine. Let's do this. Um, give a half 
docket a month. How are we doing with... Uh, we probably want to get the tech first, though. Because that'll get trade efficiency. These guys will need... 300 to upgrade them. This one is going there, so we send this one to the behind one. And I take this one and destroy, because we had one extra. I should probably have destroyed a mercenary instead, but hey. And we have a bunch of points with Hungary. Can do some claims there. Far, far away from... We actually have no peace, so... You're actually going here instead. If we went to war with Hungary right now... Of course, Austria, Ragusa, Milan... Better with some smaller countries, and we can get Bohemia to help. So that would be nice. We just want to make sure that we have... A... secure claim on all of this land that we want so he doesn't take it. I don't care about this actually. I just want to have Sopron and Varad so that I can uh, claim on Wien. I might as well take this one as well. That way I can I can call him in and he will probably take this land for himself if he gets there first but he'll leave this for me because I called him in for favors. At this point I would actually like that no guys to uh, spawn so I can get my guys elsewhere. Because I probably need them down in this war. So Hungary have 21,000 and 8,000. So uh, with the help of Bohemia I might be able to do this with one army. But that will be in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did consider hitting the like button and subscribing it will help me out a lot. Hope to see you in the next video and until then, have a good day.